Human Rights Violations by the CIA from Wikipedia. Training and support of death squads, torture and redition, torture techniques, enhanced interrogation techniques, waterboarding, war crimes, training and torture, rendition and disappearance, ghost detainees. I hereby announce you that I will change the name of my channel away from that horrible organization led by Octogon of the Nazi Templars, who therefore had all the World War II Nazi war criminals come to the US and elsewhere through the paperclip organization as a mere paperclip was holding the files together of Octagon's mass murderers of the Nazis. I actually never intended to use this name for my channel, but Fucktube's Nazi censorship put me into it when they deleted my original Guri channel with more than 300 long documentaries, most of them lost forever. At that moment, I just had a fun channel left, with about five subscribers, to continue my work by the name of Central Intelligence Agency, or Cocaine Import Agency which I had out of utter contempt for this sinister organization, in order to send some for them shocking comments on the various government fucktube channels, of which of these government channels none of them has ever been deleted during the big censorship waves and YouTube's genocide of truth. It was therefore never my intention to use the CIA headlines for my main channel, and I just had one video on it just for provoking them, which you can see here. I will give it back the initial name Guri, killed by YouTube and quite appropriate in these end times and awaited resurrections. Here the resurrection of Guri, but without all the previous material, murdered by the YouTube genociders. I will write it in the similar way as here on my Israeli Ahava 528 channel. Gure, G I U R E H, Group for International United Rescue of Earth and Humanity, Gure. I received the name Gure 24 years ago in the Cathar Castle of Kiribus of the Albigensians, together with more information while standing there alone, hearing words coming out of the void, but no one to be seen. I also slept in the very same castle eight years ago, to be seen in this video here, in the pyramid show. Yesterday, I had a visit from Adrian, a German fan of my videos from the family Milosevic, and gave him a short interview on his channel here. He came together with my Turkish friend Mehmet, with whom I once made this video here in Turkish. Mehmet is a devout Muslim and a real Haji, who of course initially believed the jaywalkers are behind everything until I taught him otherwise and giving all the proofs. So the video about Pharaoh ruling, well, I tried to say it in Turkish, 
Firavun yöneti yor yeryüzcünde ki köle yönetimi. Here the logo of the computer and electronics company Tokai, Tokai, in red and white of the Knights Templars or Swaziland, with a circle for the compass and a T with a square in it. So it says square and compass for all those who are initiated. And the T is usually, you know, referred to as the Tau symbol coming out of the pharaonic ank. Here the logo of the Water and University of Pennsylvania. I think it was the, the Swiss aristocratic family of von Grafenried who went to Pennsylvania. I'm not really sure anymore. The logo is in the pharaonic colors red, white and blue. Here you see a perfect square, 90 degrees. And here the square stands for the concept of four. And therefore it's a, um, there are three circles here for the concept of three. And the circle itself, it stands for the compass. So it says square and compass. And the circle who are our masters, it's in white for the white house. And in blue is the square, the concept of four, which is the base of a pyramid, which is us, the people. So it is in blue. It means there's a war against us by the White House, which stands for the New World's Order. And the circle, like the secret circle or the inner circle, and the concept of three is them, our masters in white for the White House or the Perhet, Upper Egypt. The, um, the New World's Order. Here in France is a castle called the Isis Castle, Chateau d'Isis. Here it is, uh, Chateau de Saint-Julien de, de la Nef, or de la Nef. And it's situated, here it is, in uh, the department of La Gare, in the south of France the Isis castle. Here's another charming picture of the Isis castle. Now why do these aristocrats call it the Isis castle if they're not from Pharaoh, if they're not Pharaonic nobility? Here's a camping in France called Camping Isis en Cévennes, the Isis in a region called Les Cévennes. And this is probably the, probably their representation of Isis. I can't really see what it looks like. Um, I can punch on it. What happens? Oh, nothing happens. Well, this is maybe a better picture of Isis in a boat with a crescent moon on her head. The moon child. Female. Ah, look, this is the American Senate with a real Nazi swastika on it. And this is Bernie Sanders. Now, what is a Nazi swastika doing in the American Senate? Now, this is Octagon of the Nazi Templars, and they rule the whole world. Here, Bernie Sanders, and he knows it. And this is the same sort of a swastika. I filmed at the Jay Walker Chabad House in Strasbourg. Now, here, I hope you can see it got this yellow thing here, but right here, I'll pull it away, you can see a real Nazi swastika on a Jay Walker Chabad House. Maybe here you can see it better. So I filmed it on this film here, Chabad, I hope I pronounce it well. And here, this is Hebrew, and here too, on the Israeli Ahava 528 channel. So the Nazi Chabad swastika is back in Israel, you could say. Well, how is this possible? Well, this is the Erev Rav, you know, the pharaohs Moses took with the Exodus. And God said, apparently, don't do it, they're not good. 
uh, like Christians, they call them the crypto jaywalkers, the Erev Rav. That's probably why you got it in the American Senate. Well, here we can see the Knights Templars drug cartel. And um, it's called Movimento Templario. And I mean, the Knights Templars in Switzerland, they are the biggest criminal organization in the entire world. I mean, so it's not really shocking to see this. And that's why we have the Cocaine Import Agency, whom I just kicked out of my channel, uh, who are doing exactly the same things. You know, they say that they, uh, you know, they are fighting against drugs. But they just eliminate the competition, you know, and kill the competition. Um, and the Templars were the first multinationals in the world, you know. They are the richest people in the world. They founded the banks. It's all about money, you know. The U.S. Army bringing drugs from Afghanistan, you know. That's why they, they pulled their army off, or one of the reasons, because they, they got stockpiles of 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 opium in america they don't even know where to put it anymore you know and um the same thing with um the cocaine import agency taking it out of uh bringing it in from um south america Let's see if we can get it here oh there it is very nice movimiento templarios hey eh? The Knights Templars, and look at it, it's a downward pyramid of death. It's the triangle of death, just like the people in Auschwitz, they had it on their breasts, eh? And they know it, you don't do it like this, you know, uh, they, they know it. And this is three, the concept of three, three corners, three sides, which is them, our masters. Yeah, well, I can talk hours about it, you know. Well, here's another Anthony Fauci uh, logo, of course, from Switzerland. And they say that they are, it's like a, a, um, a blacksmith's uh, logo of the Middle Ages. But, which is of course a lie, you know. If I look at this logo here, it says Anthony Fauci. And um, look there, here's the concept of three. There are three circles for the compass as well. And the concept of three is them, our masters. And that's why it's in the crown. So the whole thing is aristocratic. It's pharaonic. And what, is, what are they doing? They're giving us fire. You know, they're giving us hell. Us here in red. And this is like there's a square in it, you know, four times. So this is definitely the concept of four, us. So they're giving us, it means that Pharaoh, the nobility they, and, the, and the elites and Fauci, they're giving us hell, the people and fire. You know, everything is a lie. Of course, this is in Switzerland, it says. It's called uh, the Zunftgesellschaft zu Schmieden, you know, the blacksmiths. And of course, they are the dealer in the black death and the black arts, you know. Uh, the smithy, a eh, smithy, the smiths. Oh. Another lie from the Alps. Eh? They hide it, people. But the um, the symbols tell the truth. I mean, it's it's really clear what the symbols tell it tell us. And it's not nice, you know, the concept of three here and the concept of four here giving us hell. And Anthony Fauci has it, again from Switzerland. So here are some good Polish people who picked up my information from uh, my videos about the tens of thousands of dolphins were murdered uh, through 5G. You know? And it's all financed through here, this here. And you can read it, Massacre Delvinov. I hope I pronounced that right, eh? So these good Poles, they have also a YouTube channel called Samos Viadomi v Cosmosia. I hope I pronounced that right, eh? And the film is called Delfini i Svaikarska, the same as this one here, in Love Life. 
and also the good Enoch Metatron. He's in Polish, I suppose, or Miani Zamor Dołowani, I don't know what it means. So give these good people, together with Adrian from Germany, give him a hand and visit him and leave some nice comments there. And apparently the good, these good Poles, they also have an internet website, Samos Via Domi. I have no idea what that means. And... Um, here is uh, Delfini Schweitzarska Bestia. Well, apparently they have a series called Schweitzarska Bestia. Maybe it means the Black Beast. I don't know what, you know. And here they got a whole series. Here, the Devil Diabla with some more videos. So, if there are any Poles or Russians or... Slavic people watching here might be interesting to go and have a look. Eh? Say hello to the Poles. Here, some more families in the world carrying the Ross name, of which most in Germany, but anyway in Nordic countries. Ross, it means a horse in Old Germanic. It says in Old High German, it means a horse. Old Saxon. And it also, it also comes from a Rusa, meaning a runner or a racer. Maybe that's why the American Indians, they called me the running wolf. The running wolf. Horus, another end times horse against the pale horse unicorn of the new Templars. And they garter lace ribbons around their upper thighs. As here in the Nordic song Ross about Schleipnir, the eight legged horse or Ross of the Nordic end times. Eight legs to fight against Octogon. Sleipnir Ross. We're coming, Pharaoh.